Hi there, my name is Thomas Miller, and this video here is What's in My Everyday Camera Bag. As you can see, I have two bags right beside me right now, and those two bags are some that I'm using as my everyday camera bag. So, those two are a pick design. Everyday 30 liter version 1 and a low pro photo has back BP 250 AWD 2. But the thing is, I'm not going through any of those bags here because right now they are both empty. So instead I'm going through this one here, which is a peak design, not peak design, a low pro pro tactic 450 BP AW2. And as of lately, I've been using this as my main everyday camera bag. And if you saw my last was in my camera bag video, I was also mentioning this because. I'm also using this when I need to have a lot of gear with me because it is able to have a lot of gear in it. And the reason why I'm using this as of lately as my camera bag instead of the other two is because of the setup I use. Because the other two camera bags are great, but they doesn't really fit my gear. In that way that there are a lot of space that I can't use. So let's get started and get into what I am carrying in my bag. So first this pocket here. In this I have some business cards, a notebook, yeah, a pen, even though I don't really use a notebook and a pen because of I am badly dyslexic. But it is always great to have. And then other than that, I also carry a coin of some sort. And the reason why I'm carrying a coin is because I suffer from anxiety. And for me, sometimes just fiddling around with something, it could be a coin or anything, helps me relax. And the reason why I didn't decide on a coin is because it doesn't take out that much space. So that is just something I have so I can play around with it if I feel like I am starting to get stressed or just getting anxiety and have to relax a bit. So that's why I'm carrying that. But yeah, let's get all that in. And then on the other side, here, there are a pocket exactly like that one in the other side. But in this one, I have my ND filter, which is a 2 to 32 available ND filter from KNF uh, con Connect no, Concept. KNF concept, that is the thing. And then my memory card wallet, which is connected to the bag through this lanyard. And then I also have a flashlight because it's always nice to have a flashlight of some sort. And sometimes also I like doing light painting. So I always have a flashlight with me. The only other things I have on the outside is down here at the hip belt. I do have some um, hand sanitizer and paper towel and some um, hair bands because I used to have long hair so that was always nice to have and I haven't really been taking it out and also they're nice to have if I am filming or taking pictures at a reading. And yeah, also as you can see, 
I have a piece design capture clip on here, which is always a really nice thing. And yeah, that's it from the outside. And yeah, I do also always have a water bottle holder. And this one isn't the one that came with the bag because I really don't like the one that came with the bag. So, up top here. Uh, if I can get this open, there here on top there are a pocket here, which in that one the only thing I actually have is a small case with some pain medication and some um, antihistamine because of allergy and if I get a headache or a migraine, I do have some. And that's what's in that. Other than that, I have a couple of headphones. A small bag with the um, cables for my headphones and then my tripod which is a mantis pod the rpg isaac mantis pod pro i did have another one before i got this one but the ball head was terrible and then sometimes i also have a jacket in here but i don't have that in the moment <laughs> But then, let's open the bag. This here is how I have it set up. So, all the space for personal gear, and this here for camera gear. So, first up, I do have a foam gimbal, which is a Smooth X. I can't pronounce the name of the brand, so I won't try. But I am not always carrying this. Sometimes I just have it at home. So this is just one thing I sometimes have in my camera bag. And with this I also have the small tripod that came with it because sometimes I feel like the handles are too small for my hands. And this tripod has the same um, width as the handle, so just to get a bigger handle, I screw it on. And also, if I take a time lapse, it is a good thing just to have this. So, there are that. And then I always, always carry a microphone for my phone. So, this here is a Godox Genius mic which is a USB-C microphone because I am not always vlogging on a camera sometimes I just pick up my phone and film it with that so for instance if it is raining outside because I'm not quite sure how waterproof my camera are so in that cases it feels better just using this and also sometimes it feels weird having a camera up even though this will also take up some space <laughs> but then I also have of course a small blower to play my camera and then I have a spare camera in here which is a Canon Ligure Mini X which is a great vlogging camera it do have some limitations since also it is an old camera I I think I got this five years ago. So it can't film in 4K and the lens is a fisheye and you can only crop the image in camera but you have to stop recording to crop in or zoom in and the quality also gets worse when you do that but other than that it's a great camera and it has a really superb built-in microphone so i always carry an extra camera and then in here i have some spare batteries for my extra camera and my main camera which i'm going go which i'm coming to in a moment beforehand i do also carry a light at some sort mostly it is this zoom cube which I 
do have a love hate relationship with this life because it is a great night but I hate the fact that I can't see how much power is on it without connecting it to my phone which I really don't like and also the form it has is also not the thing that I like the most because if it was just a panel that was the size of my phone or something I could easily find a small crack or something where I could put it down to yeah in my bag but I can't with this one here but it is but with that being said it is a great night and it is also great that it is waterproof and then I do always carrying this 30 5mm lens for my camera and it is a cheap manual lens so there aren't any electronics in this at all and it is great sometimes really just to slow down and take pictures with a manual but then let's get to the camera myself or oh, first the microphone with this this one here which is a road video macro I recently switched from a Boya MM1 Pro to this one here because the MM1 Pro is a great microphone for the price but it isn't that great outside to be honest outside if there are a bit of wind it is terrible so this one here is better when it comes to that I really actually like this microphone. So that's the microphone I'm using. And yeah, my camera is this here, which is a Nikon Z50 with a 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens on. Because the thing is, Nikon, they haven't really come up with some lenses for their crop sensors camera, so. Unfortunately, this is the widest lens I can get with this camera. But it is still a great lens. So yeah, this is my main camera. And then the only other things I'm carrying in my bag is cleaning stuff. So microfiber cloth. I do also have um, low pro, not low pro, a peak design. Uh, I think the name is Peak Design Cuffler Strap and that's basically all I carry in my backpack as of everyday carrying as everyday carrying that was the right name right now I like the setup and I like the bag itself but I am always on a look for another bag because there are things that I don't like about this bag. But anyways, I don't have anything left. So, actually, leave a comment down below telling me what is your everyday setup. Or what would you change if you could change my setup. And also, I'd love to know which camera bag you guys are actually using. Because maybe I could get some inspiration for a better bag for me than this one here. So, yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Or give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. It is completely up to you. But anyways. The only thing left for me to say is. Be yourself. Do what you want. As long as you don't hurt others. Bye guys.